Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for August 27th of 2025 is titled Wispit to Be. Exoplanet Carves Gap in Birth Disk. So, what do we see here? Well, here we see an image taken by the Very Large Telescope down in Chile. And we are seeing a planet here, and in fact, we're seeing a planet in the process of formation. So, what are we looking at? The very center is the star. You notice there's nothing there. That's because the star is overwhelmingly bright, and if we left the star's light there, you wouldn't see anything else. So, it is masked out so that we do not see it. It uses what we call a coronagraph gets its name from the way this is done on the sun, masking out the disk of the sun so that we can study the solar corona. With corona, often visible during an eclipse, is always there, but we can't see it because the rest of the sun is so bright. The same thing happens here. If we left that star visible, you would not be able to see anything else. Now, off to the right-hand side, a little bit below center, we see kind of a dot there, and that yellow dot is actually a planet. And that planet is in the process of forming. In fact, it's clearing out a gap within the disk of material. So when a star forms, you get a disk of material, leftover debris around it that orbits. And that material can slowly gather into planets over millions of years. That's the process that we're seeing here. That planet is in the process of cleaning out the area around it. It collects some of that material into itself, growing into a larger object, and it expels some of it out. Some of it gets pushed out further into the disk. Some of it gets expelled out of the system altogether. And over time, then, there will just be a planet there with very little in that orbit. And that is one of the definitions of a planet that was given back in 2006, was being able to clear its orbit of debris. And here we're seeing a picture of what that means. This object will be an exoplanet because it is able to clear out that entire region around it, that whole region around the star. We can see how dark it is there. Lack of material. Most of that material has now been gathered into that planet or expelled outward. So we're essentially getting a look here at what our solar system might have looked like four and a half billion years ago when the planets were forming. That you would have seen objects like this planet if someone could have looked back and seen our solar system at that time. You would have seen the planets in our solar system doing the same kind of thing carving out a region around the star that is their own and clearing that of debris. So we're getting a little bit better understanding of how this process works and how planetary systems form. We've always had some vague idea of how we thought they formed, but actually being able to see multiple instances helps us to better refine those models and give us a better understanding of how solar systems form here, as well as how our solar system might have formed four and a half billion years ago. So that was our picture of the day for August 27th of 2025. It was titled, Wispit to Be, Exoplanet Carves Gap in Birth Disk. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.